Is this every Marvel movie and show? Um, because it doesn't look what like it. Most, what was the most recent show? What if One Division? What, what if? if? Yeah, no, that's there. It's down the bottom. Must be. Oh, you're right. Yeah, there it is. Do Whoa. they have uh, the newest Spider-Man on here? I don't see it. Right off the bat, the other problem is there's no F tier. <laughs> That's just because it's Marvel movies. There's no such thing as an F tier. Oh, no, there is. We'll get into it. Ant Man and the Wasp. Well, it's lowest possible tier. tier. F tier. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Spider Man Home Alone is in the. Uh... It's, it's not Home Alone, is it? What's it called? Home, home Away? A home Sweet Home. I don't fucking know, man. I don't remember. <laughs> A Long Way Home, I think? Maybe. They all have the word home in them, so good luck. So do we agree with where I put Ant-Man and the Wasp, one of the worst oh, yeah, ones? Oh, absolutely. Are we going to rename the categories there? We no, just did. We'll just do, yeah, S-A-B-C-F. But I want, S tier should be Stanley. The Stanley <laughs> tier? Yeah, in, in memory of Stanley. All right, okay. All right, there we go. And F tier, yeah. just to make, to make this more confusing, can we make that DC comics? No, it's no, gotta be James. It's Corden. Gotta, it does. It has to be James Corden. That's fair. It yeah. has to be the James Corden tier. Well, well, where does Andrew Garfield Spider Man fit in? Is that C tier? <laughs> oh God! Oh, wait, are those even on the list? I didn't see them. They're not Marvel. Oh, they're Fox. They're Fox. Oh. Okay, you're right. All right, so James Corden tier for Ant Man and the Wasp. Yay or nay? How do we feel? Yeah, I'm fine yeah. with it. And now it's time to talk about Mech Arena. I'll toss it over to Jackson so he can give you all the juicy information. Hey guys, Jackson here. So how cool are mechs, right? I know, I know, it's obvious, they're super cool. And how do you feel about arenas? They're also pretty cool, right? Combine that and you get Mech Arena, the awesome 5v5 mech shooter that combines everything you love about arenas and mechs. Honestly, I could go on and on about this game. It's bright, the maps and mechs are beautifully detailed and varied, and it runs so smoothly and looks so good on almost any device. The gameplay is also super engaging and fun. There's a multitude of ways to play the game. Hold a choke point with a Zephyr mech, supporting your team while they cap a point or maybe storm in with a juggernaut and tank shots while dishing out your own damage. My personal favorite strategy though, is to deck out a shadow mech with powerful shotguns and dart around the field behind the enemies before they even know what's happening. There's a lot here and it's just fun. Leveling up your mechs and customizing them is rewarding and then using them to demolish the other team is awesome. I mean, what more could you ask for? There's just awesome 5v5 combat waiting for you in the comfort of your mobile phone. Mech Arena also has frequent in-game events and a great login rewards program as well that you definitely don't want to miss out on. You can find us in-game under the name Mech Moist and my ID is on the screen right now. It's completely free to play on Android and iOS and you can use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get one mil spec skin, 500 A coins and 70,000 credits to help kickstart your game. Go hit up the arena with your mech in Mech Arena. So if you're interested in checking out Mech Arena, make sure to click the link in the description below to get started. Now, I've always meant to ask you, but I've never remembered. Is it actually James Corden or is it James Corden? I think it's Corden. I think that's how you pronounce it. I like it. the way you say it. So yeah, you're go. giving him way too much credit. It's not Corden. That's way too fancy. That's like, it a, is... that's like a French enunciation. No, his name is Corden. James Corden. It's not uh... Corden. You don't say, uh, first of all, you're not meant to say it how he wants you to say it. Oh, true. You don't, yeah. you don't give him that power. <laughs> you say it how you want. True. Oh my god. <laughs> I I don't think any human can say it how this video pronounces it. How does it say it? Here, I'll let you listen to it. It's really bad. How it's got pronounce... some phlegm in there as a robot somehow. Hey, let's see. Not oh god, advertisement, Matt. What did you send me? Oh, I'm so sorry. You sent me malware. Why do you not have an ad blocker? <laughs> I do. Just not James on Firefox. Carden. Oh, it opened up the wrong thing. I see. You're in for a treat. James Carden. This is how, like, an Irish person says it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> James Carden. Weird. Mine's just <laughs> pronouncing it piece of shit. <laughs> James Carden. <clears throat> So you're as adamantly against James Corden oh, as well. So, he's so unfunny, dude. He's I, one I of my least him. favorite celebrities of all time. I still it's, just really want to get the invite to go on his show with Charlie 
um, without him ever knowing how much Charlie hates him. <laughs> I'd love to be on his carpool karaoke. <laughs> Just sit there monotone, don't even talk to him. <laughs> that would be wonderful. He, he's kind of like the Amy Schumer of male comedians, really. Well, yeah, that's exactly what I said. Because when we did our celebrity tier list, that's where we put Amy Schumer. Yep. Nice. All right, All right so Ant-Man and the Watch into J- Should we go in order of when they started? No, I think we just go in order of here. So okay. Ant-Man and the Wasp, I think, is one of Marvel's absolute stinkiest. I think there is nothing redeeming about that movie. The fucking villain and the hero have the exact same goal, and then at the end decide to work together. Like, the, like it makes no sense why there's even a conflict. At oh, the, look, all these spoilers, people might have been waiting to watch that one. No, 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 no. I'm saving them the trouble. Quite literally, the villain and the heroes want the same fucking thing at the end of the movie, and then just decide, yeah, we might as well just do it together. It makes no fucking sense. The movie's trash. No, yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. Ant Man and the Wasp is one that I is one of the only few Marvel movies that I haven't seen. So <laughs> oh, no wonder you're forward. such a Marvel fan. Mm. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I, I saw the only I didn't see the only one that was bad apparently, so that's good. It was so stupid, and the villain's power was vibration, so she can vibrate really fast and squeeze through things. So she like phases around through vibrating, <laughs> but she can't stop vibrating. So she like starts phasing by accident. It's like a video game glitch, but as a uh... person. And then eventually, I believe that was the oh, same problem cool. they had in Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that sounds Very cool, cool though. Boy, no, Becky, you made it sound cool. No, 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 it's not. How cool do they at stop all. her from vibrating so much? I don't remember. They have to go back into like the small realm, like the baby baby realm, together to like save his wife and save her from vibrating too much. I no, want to watch the movie you've described. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's terrible. I hated it. In the Wasp. It's got Paul Rudd though, and Paul Rudd is so charismatic. Well, yeah, I find it hard and you have to be. A, and you want to know the good Paul Rudd movie, Ant Man One. Yeah. That's a B tier. I'm not, oh, I don't know about B tier. I was gonna put it in C. No, really so forgettable. It's not forgettable. I think it's very I good. Think, I think Ant Man, and this is probably why I didn't see the second one. But I think Ant Man is when Marvel movies started to get stale and repetitive to me. That's when I was like, okay, they're just doing the same thing over and over again. That's when they really found their formula, but it doesn't mean it's bad. <laughs> Thanks for I'm not saying it's butter. bad. I'm saying it's C tier. It's just like, meh. Mm. Matt, what are your opinions? Opine, please. Oh boy, I, I'm once again between the B and C category. It was, it was fine. I didn't think it was anything amazing. It looks great compared to Ant Man and the Wasp. Um, I would personally lean more towards. The C than the B compared to other Marvel movies. Agreed. Right. But I don't disagree with B or C. B minus C plus. Yeah, it's kind of hard since we don't have a D. So C is actually I was pretty say, solid. C feels stinkier than it should be because the D isn't there. Yeah. Can you add it here? Let me see. No, we'd don't have to read. Yeah, 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 no, 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 it. you can. So, so go to the cogwheel next to C at mm-hmm. the end of C. Oh. And then go add a row below. There you go. And then oh yeah, we literally one. did that on the uh, celebrity one. I forgot. Make that one half, half of James Corden. <laughs> <laughs> James <laughs> Corden. Just JC. Oh here. Uh, well, we can also put an F tier now then too. Oh, good work. <laughs> Wait, what? You're saying to change now. the color Shit. of the, the new tier. This is this is how our uh, celebrity one was, where the racists and murderers went in evil, <laughs> and then James Corden and Amy <laughs> Schumer went into James Corden. <laughs> there, see now there's a low, there's yeah, there's proper separation now between James Corden and the rest of the pack. There's so cool. many tiers now, though. We should just have a tier for every specific movie. No, not true at all. We're gonna have some D's and F's in here, and then James Corden is a, a fate worse than death. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, what's the next one? Age of Ultron. Yeah, and here we go. We immediately get to utilize D tier. I I agree with that. That's fair. Yeah, I'm with you guys. Oh my! Especially God. especially after the first Avengers, like hype was at the max it could be, and then. Who directed it? it? Was Joss Whedon, right? I think it was Whedon, yeah, and he really fucking blew it. <laughs> Came in and slapped these nuts on Marvel's face and said, "I'll do my best to take this <laughs> industry down with me." <laughs> oh, it so it was such trash. There's nothing good about Ultron. The only good thing Ultron did was Vision and Scarlet Witch. 
I, yeah, I, liked, I was going to say I liked both of them a lot. They're good but. characters, but they, they, they weren't even cool in the movie. They're just cool characters overall. Yeah. That's they were, they were cool later on, I would yeah. say. Um, Ultra was kind of cool, but mainly his voice, I think. That yeah, his good. voice was lovely. Makes a tier one cool light. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine with D. I, in fact, I'd probably even go F, but... No. By far the most forgettable Avengers, like... Oh yeah, for sure. Anything by yeah. ten miles. Anything Avengers related, Ultron I think is at the lowest end of that yep. spectrum. Absolutely, for sure. not even close. And this one is Infinity War. Infinity War to me is an A. I loved Infinity War. I thought it was lovely. I was gonna say uh, Stanley. I think it's you were gonna go Stanley. Oh, I yeah. forgot we even had oh, that there. Going it, Stanley. Yeah. Th- th- think think about it in terms of not only was it just a masterful stroke of uh, filmmaking and and an enjoyable product at the end, but it had the snap, which has just become such a cultural mainstay i think like, I, the test of time. yeah i really appreciated that they ended it on a sad note like it, it didn't have a happy ending they that, didn't even try i thought that was really cool I'll go which for there. them was such a change of pace yeah yeah it was great Infinity I, War think really was much good. I actually have not seen this next one captain marvel yeah all i remember about captain marvel was all of the hate brie larson was getting off of it yeah, I, I think was, I was gonna go the opposite way and say we should probably put this in in the top categories up. <laughs> otherwise, Brie Larson's gonna come after us. <laughs> <laughs> she is a YouTuber now. She played a, a Nintendo Switch game once. Yeah, she played Whoa, Switch nice. once. So nice. she nice. might even nice. be in the chat. Yeah, that's then. Fuck All right, yeah. good work. Are you, are you there, Brie? I think it's, it's going down. To I second. think overall, it's a very mediocre movie. It's it's not like super great. It's not super shit either. It hits the notes. It does what it's... I don't know. What it's, I would expect a Marvel movie to do. It's just super formulaic. Which I guess... I don't know. I guess I could make it a D tier. Because it's not like a really like great movie or a huge standout movie in the Marvel one. It's just a fine overall movie. I think her character also comes across... At least to me, is like really unlikable. <laughs> like all of the yeah. other... All of the other main characters in Marvel movies are pretty charismatic and they and they stand on their own two feet and such, but then like I've never watched a Marvel movie and thought the main character hated me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One yeah, person in chat that. said A, so we have confirmed that Brie Larson's here. Oh, that's good. Her PR manager's here at least. Yeah. Just <laughs> spamming it over and over. So on the moist meter, I don't remember what we gave this. I think we gave it a 70. Like I said, I think it's a fine movie, but in Marvel yeah. movies, it's just not very good compared to the rest. We got to judge this in relation to each other as well. Yeah, not just as an overall movie. Because like I said, I think it's a serviceable, serviceable movie just for Marvel kind of dog shitty compared to the rest. Yeah, so... You gave it, it a 65. Way, yeah, that sounds about right. To put it this way, though, if I was going through like a, a Marvel binge or whatever... Um, Captain Marvel is one of the movies that I wouldn't be looking forward to watching again. Now, coming up to. there was that one guy who saw Captain Marvel over 200 times. Do you remember oh that? Oh, God. No. Why? That, uh, I think he wanted to meet Brie Larson, which he eventually okay. did. He saw it over 200 and something times during the first week of its premiere, I think. Oh, like in theaters? In theaters. In theaters, he paid for it over 200 and times. she humored him by meeting him? Because that's the last person she should actually meet. Yeah, that's some psychopath energy shit. Wait, but yeah, they it, met. 200 times in one week? Did he invent a time machine just to do this? Uh, hold on, let me, I'm going to look it up so I don't uh, besmirch this good man. Yeah, uh, if, if someone did that to me, if I was uh, someone said that they watched my movie 200 times in one week, that would be like grounds for I, a restraining order. I yes, got it wrong. Absolutely. A Marvel fan in Wisconsin saw Captain Marvel 116 times. Oh, that's not so bad anymore. I uh, I, I <laughs> slandered this poor guy. That's absurd. You painted him some kind of weird like, man. Yeah. Yeah, I made him sound like a weirdo. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's strange. 116, that's like one and a half million dollars at the movie theater. That's pretty much how many times you saw Jurassic Park in theater, Jackson. Yeah, but I didn't <laughs> want to meet them. <laughs> although, although I would have liked to have met the All best. right, we can make it happen. Yeah. If he can do that with Brie Larson, you can meet a T-Rex. Yay! <laughs> the, this is what he said. The amount of time that it takes, I've had to take time off of work and take long lunch breaks to accommodate watching an entire movie in the particular time frame, and then just time on the weekends where I'm not doing other things. Nice. How understanding do you think his boss was? <laughs> oh, I mean, this is a world record, so I mean, I'm sure they patted him on the ass, gave him a raise. 
Now, is the world record just for Captain Marvel or movies in general? I think it was all movies, actually. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. What's the next one? I think it's Winter Soldier. I can't read it. Yeah, it's the Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier um, was so fucking good. Yeah, I think Civil War's better. Ooh, I don't know about that. I don't know. I think I think Winter Soldier might be better. I was a big fan of both of them. Um, Take a stand. Truth I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm Matt. thinking, Jackson. Okay. <laughs> I'll just shout out the first thing that comes to my mind. Was Winter Soldier the one where Chris Evans holds a helicopter in place and flexes his bicep real hard? I believe yeah. that was, where he holds the roof at the same time or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck yeah. Didn't they say he, like, actually tore his bicep in real life? No, now you're just getting lost in some fanfic, I, sh- I Here, think. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was that Civil War? Maybe that was Civil Oh, they're War. saying it's Civil War. Okay, we got a... Sp- <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we've got a monkey wrench here. Chris Evans reveals Captain America injury. He got too much pussy and his dick hurts. I don't know. It's probably not his bicep. In quotes, I really messed up my arm. Getting mm. too much pussy. Yeah, fending up yeah. the women. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still think Winter Soldier is a better movie. I got the bicep uh, timeline wrong, but I think Winter Soldier is better. Really? What was your favorite moment from it, huh? I don't know. I just think Bucky's super fucking cool. Because I can name my favorite moment Bucky's. from Civil War. It's when he was doing the bicep call with the helicopter. You know what? Fuck it. Fine. I'm on board. A for Civil War. B for Winter Soldier. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm too out of energy today to argue. I, I still think even disregarding that Civil War was the better movie. It had like the highest stakes. It had all of the characters there. It was such like a... It was like an Avengers was movie. Really sick. Yeah, it did feel like an Avengers I'm movie. I'm just going to give them both A. I don't feel comfortable putting Winter Soldier in B. Yeah, they're both really good. I agree. Just I'm because one of them might be a higher A, they're still A. Also, yeah. just so you know, in the first week of filming, he messed up his arm. It was a fake helicopter, but it was drifting beyond the ability of his control. He tweaked his bicep into this day. It's still messed up. The fuck? Did he have, like, Nintendo Switch Joy-Con drift? <laughs> <laughs> The guy piloting just really hated him. He just started, like, taking off for real. (laughs) Tear him in half. Please stop flying. He's actually just screaming. Tell you get the best reactions. Civil War did have a really fucking hype conclusion, to be fair. That entire movie was really good. It set set up, like, the rest of the arcs, really. And, and, like, the stakes there were really cool with um, Iron Man and Captain America not being friends anymore. That was cool. It was was cool. It was very good. Uh, the original Captain America, I also think is super good. Oh, oh that movie that. slept. I think B tier for that. Yeah, I think yep. it's not as good as the other two, but amazing. Yeah. I think it's just because Red Skull isn't super cool. I, I don't think he was like a really cool villain overall, but I think Captain America was really cool in the movie. Yeah, He's that movie after seeing the rest is definitely B tier, but when it first came out, oh, that movie was so good. It was, yeah. My dad even really liked that movie. I haven't seen a movie in theaters with my parents in so long. I think the last one I remember seeing was probably Captain America with them, and my dad was like, those Nazis are some evil bastards, huh, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah. It's- I can see your dad saying exactly that, too. Yeah. It was like, yeah, dad, I mean, they're, they're Nazis. They're not, they're not super cool, I guess. Your your dad called me yesterday to literally just to ask me how I was feeling. It was the nicest thing anybody's Aww. ever done for me. Yeah, your dad's a sweetheart. I yeah. love him. He's, he's been trying. He's been trying to help me with my house being built. He's sending <laughs> encouraging emails and text messages. It's That's the sweetest so thing. <laughs> Both of your parents are amazing. All right, we need yeah, to add an extra tier in here for like a picture of my dad. Yes. <laughs> yeah. In each tier list we do, he gets S tier. Yeah. But we need to do your mom, too. We can't just have your dad. True, true, true. The whole parents. Right. Doctor Strange. I really like Doctor Strange. I loved Doctor Strange. The visuals were so good in Doctor Strange. Yeah. Like, some of the most incredible visuals. I'm fine with A. Anything that Doctor Strange is in immediately gets elevated, I think. Because it's just so fucking cool. And to, like, constantly change everything. Where, like, the perspectives and everything get kind of all fucking warped and wacky. The multiverse gets introduced. I think it's so important and really fun. And honestly, yeah. Marvel almost always hits the nail on the head with their actors, but yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch was just like, just fucking amazing. Yeah. I just don't think it's good enough to be Stan Lee tier. I think Stan I Lee tier is just a little too high for Doctor Strange to reach yet. Yeah. Especially with Infinity War in there. Yeah. Great movie, though. I fucking love Doctor Strange. 
Yeah, that, oh, so good. Is this in game? Yeah, yeah, you know it is. Okay. Bang. How do we feel about C tier? Too low for me. You I think? was leaning more B tier for end game. I was, I was leaning B as well. I just feel like in game isn't that good. Like, everything in the movie is just everything going right all the time and slowly. Like, I don't know. I just didn't, I didn't like it nearly as much as Infinity War. And Thanos, to me, didn't feel, like, as scary in Endgame as he was set up to be in Infinity War. They just kind of steamrolled him. I agree with that. I just think that maybe the whole last half of the movie elevates it to B tier. I just yeah, think the last half. The last half is great, yeah. But, I mean, you spend half of the movie just kind of slowly going through the past where everything's going right. True. Like, there, it doesn't feel like there's any stakes. It's like, oh, this is good. There, there good is again. a lot of Very good. fluff in the first half. Were you at all during the movie bored or like taken out of it? No, like, I wouldn't say I was. I wasn't. Bored. I, 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 the entire movie, I was like pretty entertained. Yeah, like, I, I remember it. Monique was gone for a night. I ordered some Chinese food, watched it on my couch, loved it. Um, but <laughs> I mean, no, I'm I, fine. I'm fine to concede. Yeah, does I that sound like more. a C tier to you? Did you see how happy Matt was on his couch? <laughs> yeah, think about it. it reminds me of the time Monique wasn't home. Um, yeah. <laughs> B is definitely where I would feel. Uh, I mean, I'll concede B. It's a fine movie. I just really don't think it did justice to what Infinity War was setting up. It, that it, is yeah. fair. That's why it's not in Stan Lee, though. Right. True. I'm interested a bit where right. everybody stands on this next one. You know what? Wait. I'll get out ahead of it. Mm -hmm. I love Guardians of the Galaxy, and I feel like you guys don't like it. What a brave opinion. I, I, yeah, I love it too. What? Oh, okay. Doesn't everyone love it. Oh, uh, let's I, not get let's not get carried away. We whoa, wait, we, what? we we can get back on that topic with volume two. Okay, I I thought you guys were gonna shit on it and say the humor was bad. I thought the movie no. was amazing. First Guardians oh, of the really Galaxy is great. great. I right, think yeah, the first cool. one's fantastic. I I don't know if I'd give it like I'd probably give it B, but I still think it's good. I would say it's an A for me, dog. There's an old oh, meme for God. you by accident. Randy Jackson. Nice. Yeah, I didn't even mean to do that. It just came out. At, le at least you weren't his other co-host, Paul, what, Paula? Paula, Paula Paul? Dean. Or er, uh, yeah, that... Paula Abdul. Paula, can you imagine <laughs> if Paula Dean hosted American Idol? That'd be pretty fucking lit. Oh, although, really, you don't want to be either of them. There's something about the name Paula. Yeah, yeah true. aren't they both, like, awful people? Yeah. Um... Oh man, I don't know. It's in between A and B for me. I, would you really give Guardians of the Galaxy up there with Doctor Strange, Winter Soldier, and Civil War? Because I super wouldn't. Yeah, okay. Who, like, right, for example, pop quiz, who was the villain in Guardians of the Galaxy? Tell me his uh, name. It was, their, it was, they were each other's enemies, right? And then they all have a dance off at the end. Yeah, but who did he have the dance off with? Don't look at chat. I'm not looking at chat. I don't know his name. Exactly. I, I really thought you would have known this, Jackson. Why? It's Ronan. Is his name Jackson? No, oh. his name's Ronan. I, just, I don't know. I feel like you would have known that one. He's just, he's just super forgettable. Like I, I don't think they had like a he's, real big bad. He's baby Thanos, like yeah. bitch Thanos. He's just, he's just a little pussy boy Thanos. I just feel like the characters are cool, the journey's cool, but it doesn't have like this really like impactful payoff to me. Like it's right. just fun. I wouldn't give so it. So without a. without looking at chat though, who was the main antagonist in Doctor Strange? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> fuck! Yeah, Darmamu. I couldn't remember how to. I couldn't remember it. Darmamu. I've come to bargain. There we go. I remember now. Did you remember it because of chat? No, or... I remembered because I come to bargain. And I couldn't remember who he said it to. I I would put Darmamu and Ronan on very similar levels. Yeah, but Darmamu is much cooler than Ronan. He's like the giant galaxy-eating dark guy, whereas Ronan's just a guy with a fucking sledgehammer. Hmm. Hmm. I, I like I said, I'm no, fine with it. Wait, I don't think it's wait, the wait, wait. Level of Wasn't Civil Dormammu War. just at the very end up in the space? Wasn't he fighting? He was fighting the guy with the black eyes. Like the Dormammu was the big puppet master, though. He was the big bad. Right, but isn't that the same? Like Ronan, Ronan wasn't really the big yeah, bad Thanos. for the Guardians either. It's Thanos. He's got a point. Mm, I guess you are making a good point. Uh -huh. What's the other guy's name? I'm looking it up. Casilius. I mean, he looks cool. That was a very good point because they are pretty similar. 
I still I still don't think I would put Guardians in the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy on the same level as Civil War and Winter Soldier personally. I'm good but with maybe, wherever you put it. But maybe but maybe that means we need to drop Doctor Strange down to B. Whoa. Yeah. Maybe you're right since they're it's kind of similar then. That's that fine. That's come to. That's fine. Jackson made a good point. That was some facts and logic right there. Thank you. That'll be going in my montage. Wait, but Matt made all the points to move Guardians to A, and then somehow Doctor Strange moved <laughs> to B. Is that what this happened? Great point, Matt. 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 Matt, great point. And then Jackson goes, all right, B. <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was following your momentum, Matt. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Good work, Jackson. We yeah. worked as a team and failed successfully. Yeah, it was good. Uh, I got what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, true. So do we all agree that Volume 2 was not very good for Guardians of the Galaxy, though? I don't remember anything about it. I so. remember that one with the... They went to, like, the mining planet. I, I don't remember much of it. It has Kurt Russell. He gets... To, he can, He's a god. He uh, literally is a god, and he yeah, surfs I, around. So, literal god. so with this one, the only thing I remember is the main antagonist, which was Ego, right? Yep, Ego. Yep. Yeah, so... But it's like, and then I guess by that logic, this one's an A tier. <laughs> Put him up <laughs> in A tier because we can remember the antagonist's name. Yep. And then Star Lord I... becomes a god as well, so he's like firing fucking light beams and flying around and shit. Yeah, that one was not nearly on the level of number one. Um, I didn't dislike the movie, but definitely not the same as number one. Would you put it closer to number one or further away? So C or D here. Um, I haven't seen Captain Marvel, so I'm not sure. Um, I personally enjoyed it more of a more than Age of Ultron. I still thought it was a fun movie. Yeah, I'll agree with that. I think C. Okay, I'm fine with C. Just Matt gotta win. There you go, Matt. Yeah, For you man, you needed strong. that one. Yeah, that was yeah. a momentum shifter right there. Yeah, I'm feeling really good. This is all a game of momentum. That's all tier lists are. Oh, Far From Home? Uh, mm -hmm. Easy A tier with I Jake so. Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal's <laughs> such a suave man. You know <laughs> he doesn't shower? Character... What? He doesn't shower. In the movie? No, like, no, like, in, no in, life. in general. He doesn't shower. Oh, he doesn't believe oh. in it. That's why he's so handsome. Yeah, it's that, it's that uh, dirty scent emanating from him that makes mm -hmm. him look so good. I'm, I'm all for it. Whatever he's doing, he's doing it right, so... If he says don't shower, I guess I'm not showering anymore. Easy A's here, though. Even like even disregarding Jake Gyllenhaal and and uh, all the other charismatic characters, just the, the movie's a fun time. It's good. I love the ending. I think the ending is so fucking cool. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, I think it's better than the first Spider-Man for in, sure in this, in this Marvel um, history. Uh, yeah, easy A tier for me. I agree with that. I think Hulk. Everyone here will agree is F. Our first F. Which or one did is that? The Incredible yeah, Hulk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that um, movie at all? Yeah, because I've watched it multiple times for some reason. What? Why? Because, um, I, I, like, it's always the first movie in, like, a, you know, Marvel binge because it's the first movie that was released. Uh, so you just go back to it. I haven't yeah. seen it since probably, like, 2012. No, probably even earlier. Back when Iron Man first started launching this shit, I was so big into the Marvel movies, I watched it again then, and it was still just as bad as I remembered it being. The, oh, the only... The only good part of the original Hulk is that uh, that scene where Tim Roth gets uh, kicked into a tree. That's my favorite scene in probably the entire Marvel history. Why? He's, he's kicked it. <laughs> he's, I'm laughing just thinking about it. He, he gets kicked, like he um, runs up to Hulk and, and is all angry and then the Hulk just kicks him and he goes flying across the football field directly into a tree. <laughs> I'm, Face I'm first into a tree. Right have you not seen it? It's so good. I vaguely remember what you're talking about. That scene didn't really jump out at me, though. How do you get... He gets... I, I don't know. Tapping. It's the arrogance of him. He, he comes storming up to the Hulk. And Very the Hulk simple. Like... Loki Hulk scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, you're right. It is. Here, but I just, just in case I you love... want to watch it. Yeah, I love I just his face it. just hitting the tree. It's great. Oh, don't watch that one. This one's much better. I can't show it on stream because it'll just get the oh, whole video right. taken just down. Oh, that's right. Just don't even watch it. I'm just... Am I not allowed to edit it into the video? I don't think so. On the last one we did where we showed some of the Troy movie, it got uh, it kind of got slapped. You say some of the Troy movie, but we watched like 17 yeah, minutes of it. Movie. <laughs> it was such a good movie. <laughs> I, I, I went back and rewatched it. See, look at, look at the CGI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. So good. He's, his ragdoll body gets flung across the field. Well, that makes so, me want to put it up to a D, to be honest. Yeah, honestly, that's that's one of my favorite moments of the Marvel cinematography. I don't... Is it really, like, less bad than Ant-Man and the Wasp, though? You really hate that movie. It, it, uh, you you haven't seen it. It's really dumb. I think the movie's really, like, um, unbearably dumb. Uh, spoiler alert, there's going to be one more James Corden Marvel movie I can think of off the top of my head, which is Thor Dark World. I think they're on equal footing. I think they're both equally shit. All right, well, Hulk has to go on F tier then, just to fill up yeah. F tier, I think. Yeah, we need something in The there. only reason I wanted to bring it up to D is because that kick is pretty cool. I see what you're talking about. I told about. you. I told you, man. If that, if that, if it's, if the movie was just all of that scene, easy D. Thanks for some golden. <laughs> but no, F tier. Which one's this down here? Is this Iron Man two or three? It's two. Wait, right um, here, Iron Man yeah, two. two. I give it like a C. It was okay. It was a fine movie. It was all right. It's the one with the whips, right? Yeah, the Mickey Rourke yeah. and the whips. I would honestly say Army the Hammer. most forgettable Iron Man. No, yeah. Iron Man 3 is the most forgettable Iron Man. And it like it doesn't do anything. Like He deletes all of his suits only to make all of his suits again. I think Iron yeah. Man 3 is the worst one. And then okay, I said the most forgettable one, and I can't remember 3. <laughs> yeah, no, number 3 I think is an unbearable piece of trash. I'm watching the trailer now because I legitimately don't remember 3. It's, it was the one with the Mandarin. Yeah, it's the one where the people were blowing up. Like, uh, the people were, like, overheating, oh, like, a graphics card. And they, like, blew up his house, right? Yeah. 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 The, three's a really contentious one, because some people fucking love three. Like, look at the chat. Three is the best one. And I think that movie is absolute irredeemable garbage. I don't know about garbage, but I think it's, it's bad. bad one. I just think it's really bad. Uh, no, like right, is Iron Man 3... Where doesn't like Gwyneth Paltrow save the day or something? Kind yeah. of at the very end. You'll you'll remember the last scene. He's he like presses something on his wrist and he's like, no more suits. So the suits all he's done with the suits. And but aren't then, they in the shipping container? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. Okay, that it's coming back now. Yeah. Tony Stark also gets nursed back to health by a six year old boy. Well, that's well, a, what's not to love about that? Yeah, that's a weird thing you just said there. I don't remember that at all. Wait, you don't remember that? Oh, in the farm. He's in the yeah, farm, right? Yeah. What? What are you talking about? Oh, is that the one where he's like that? He's talking about his dad with the cigarettes and shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, I remember it, it oh, made I such a that. big scene because they brought that kid back in for, for Tony Stark's funeral later on. I for some that. reason. <laughs> yeah, movie's trash. I think it's definitely the worst Iron Man. Two's not great either, but I think two's still better than three. I think yeah. two, two's also got Army Hammer, who's a, a nice goofball. Or, that's his name, right? Army Hammer? Uh, yeah, something. Arnie? Something Hammer. Yeah, I think he's I think he's at least fun. I think three's the worst Iron Man, but I don't think it's as bad as Hulk or Ant-Man and the Wasp. Mm. Iron Man <laughs> 1, Easy Stanley. Yeah, that movie's phenomenal. Literally launched the entire MCU. Yep, the entire thing. Are you, are you, I thought I heard you like suffocate or something over there, Jackson. <laughs> I don't know about Stan Lee. I was thinking Whoa. A. Really? You wouldn't give a. Iron Man Stan Lee tier? I just... No, I don't think so. I think wow. I'd give it A. I, I don't think... I mean... Alright, first of all, Iron Man didn't start, start this. The Incredible Hulk did. And don't, look where that don't, is. don't you ever fucking say that again. But it's true. It did start it. No, it it may, might not have started not everything that comes started. first starts something, okay? It does. It took him a few did. tries to get off the ground. I don't think it's Stan Lee tier, but I'll accept it. I'll, I, I'll, I'll, I'll accept it. It's, I think it has it, to be. I think you're looking at it from a sentimental value, though. I think It's still movie, a good movie. I watched it a couple years ago. It's still a good movie. It's just, I don't like any movie where like the main character fights themselves at the end. Like It's a clone of them, basically. Like they're fighting their own hubris or their own demons, and I think that's what what what's the main guy's at the end's name? The main antagonist, the bald um, guy. I don't remember his name though. Yeah, w wasn't it? Ah, fuck, it wasn't War Machine, was it? No, it War Machine's War Rhodes. Warmonger. That's Warmonger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was it was basically just another Iron Man suit. So he's fighting himself basically. Oh, it's, it's Iron Iron Monger. Yeah, it's pretty. It's just boring to me. That is. It's just a trope that's been done to death, I feel like, so 
That's well, it's been what? done to death after they did it. True. I don't even think that's the case. I think it was done to death before that. <laughs> it Who did it? Been since like the 19th I century. Did. I think it's just a pretty a prime tired cliche. But if you want to do Stanley, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna admonish you. I think I'm it's following you up on Stanley tier personally. Yeah, I think it has to be Stanley tier. Black Panther. I a. like Black Panther a lot. Oh, I want to say B. I'm me. thinking, yeah, it's between B and C for me as well. I was between A and B, so I'd say B. I'll go B. Yeah, B. I think B's fair. I think it's a good movie. I was watching something about their stunt work. Their stunt work for that movie was pretty fucking nuts. Like uh, those car scenes and shit, they actually did those things. It wasn't all CGI. I just, I don't remember... I remember some of the action at the start was all in dark, it like dark scenes and stuff, and it kind of took it away from me. Like I didn't, I didn't really like love the action until like maybe the second half, hmm. and then also the final action scenes were pretty lame because they had like these CGI um, rhinos and stuff. I think was that Black Panther. I think that was in, in Infinity War where they had like all the animals outfitted. Oh, maybe that was Infinity War. Never mind. Anyway, it's still a B for me. I mean, it might have been in that one too. I just don't recall. Yeah, I just remember the. I, I think there was bad CGI in Black Panther, but I could be wrong. That's what all of chat's saying too. Okay. Okay, they're saying you're right, Jackson. Well, B tier for me, regardless. I'm pretty. B happy it is. Three. I'm down. Spider Man Homecoming. I was thinking B tier. Yeah, that's going to be another B tier for me. It's. It's good. It's like the same level of good as uh, Far From Home, just without Jake Gyllenhaal. So it's a little oh worse God. than Far From Home, I think. It's it's you know Tom Holland well, still figuring no it out. Jake no, no, no. They have an equally charismatic, likable guy. The Vulture's played by um. Oh yeah. Uh, what the fuck is his name? Michael. Uh, is it Michael? Not Michael. No, Payne. what the fuck What's is his name? name? I don't know. It's like it, Keaton. Keaton. Michael Keaton. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like Michael Keaton. I think he's cool. Yeah, he, he's fun. He's a fun villain. Yeah, I and think he's he, fine. It was it kind of like added a real life element to it too as well. Like you see the aftermath aftermath of um, the first Avengers movie with like New York being destroyed and what kind of ramifications that has for people that live there. Like he was the villain because he his job was taken away from him because of that shit. So it was pretty fun. Yeah, it's a pretty sympathetic villain, I'd say. Michael Agreed. Keaton was Batman. Oh, true. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> Do you guys remember the first Thor movie? I, I know where I want to put this, but I'm curious where you guys think it should go. D tier for me. Yeah, Matt, what about you? What do you think? Really? I It might just be rose-tinted glasses for me. I thought it would be better than a D. Uh, it's pretty bad. It's not good. Yeah, it's... So, the I, I don't know if you remember, but, like, the main thing that Thor fights is, like, that goofy fucking robot thing. It's really underwhelming. I don't think there's a... Robot. I don't even remember that. Or one like at the you remember at the end he fights that like big like robot that shoots the beams oh yeah actually kind of looks like ronin from uh, guardians of the galaxy but massive yeah it's like the giant they're they're in the diner right and they go and yeah. fight it out in the street yeah natalie it's portman was so the best boring. part of thor yeah but even even their romance was so boring like there's no chemistry don't you don't you ever fucking say that about natalie portman now you're just now you get, you're getting carried I'm away i'm insulting her she's, she's yes fine. you did you yes you did jesus fucking when people are saying that, that what i'm saying is dark world that is the what the one you're talking about yeah mm. the robot so wasn't in dark world what yeah wait what wasn't wasn't the dark world uh, like goblins from a different dimension or something? Yeah, here, look, the I even have the fight scene pulled up. It's like that uh, spiky robot guy. All right, so we are right. Yeah, that's the end of Thor one. I'm looking and at it right now. Somebody said Dark World was the elves idiots, so I trust that guy. Oh well, yeah, no, yeah. Dark Dark World is the uh, it's another James Corden entry. <laughs> it is. Oh man, it's so bad. Um, yeah, but it it was the elves. You're right. The goblin elves. Yeah, the the little hunchback dude, pointy ears. Um, yeah, I I would personally go C for Thor one, but like I said, that's pretty much just pure nostalgia for me. Um, I can remember nothing about the movie clearly. 
They have the yeah. Thor's hammer in like the the crash site. Natalie Portman's one of the scientists oh, there, yeah, and then he the comes and, and stuff. Yeah, yeah I, I can agree. It's with a it. pretty fucking boring movie. It I, does not stand up to Marvel movies at all. It's just not fun to watch. No, it's a really fucking boring movie. And I don't know yeah. why people. There's one guy in chat that is really saying Charlie that robot fight is in the middle. I have it pulled up right now. The Thor ending fight is Thor against this goofy Spike robot. It's very underwhelming. And Thor Dark World is a James Corden all day. Yeah, um, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't disagree. I don't know. Is it worse than Ant Man and the Wasp? I think it's on equal footing. I wouldn't necessarily say one is worse than the other. They're equally dog shit. Right. Well, now I have something to gauge it to, and I agree though. <laughs> I think it's a James Corden easy. The best now, thing on about the other every hand, movie is always Heimdall. Yeah, kind of. I guess. I love him. Loki um, is the final On the other fight. hand, though, maybe the biggest well, this title was wrong. Got, like, surprise is, tier one is Nuni? Thor Ragnarok. That's going to be like an, a Stan Lee for me. It's, probably, it's probably one of my favorite movies from the I MCU. I thought they killed it. I was so nervous with that movie. I thought they were trying to... Like, before I saw it, I thought they were trying too hard to copy the formula from Guardians of the Galaxy after it went so well. Um, and then they just did it really well. Yeah, it's Taika so Waititi really fucking movie. saved Thor. Yeah. yeah, that movie was great. It was so fucking good. Look at look at that list though. Thor is a um, a character of extremes. You have him up in Stanley, and you have him down in James <laughs> Corden. <laughs> yeah. he's like he's like the yin yang. He's two, two sides of the same coin. Dude, it was he so good. He fucking saw Jeff the bottom and bounced back. Oh. Yeah. Taika Waititi is such a good director, man. Yeah, that I didn't. So I love him. I love him as an act, uh, as a director. But I, I really didn't like him in Free Guy. He was way too over the top in Free Guy. I think. I think he just went a little too hard there and kind of missed the mark. But as a director, I think he's he hasn't missed yet. Thor yeah, Ragnarok might be the last movie I saw in theaters. Jesus I, Christ! In terms of any movie? Any movie. It was that good? You just said no more. <laughs> yeah, I said how nothing is going to top this. No, I don't go to theaters very often. True. Wait, we went and saw we went and saw nineteen seventeen together. No, we didn't. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just right. now you just made him look dumb. All right, nineteen seventeen is the last movie I saw in theaters. That was a good movie too. That was a great movie. Let's put yeah, that on this year. Stanley. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, I, I did like his cameo in that. <laughs> he was one Just of the pilots. Just slowly being a janitor through the uh, the foxholes during the war. I think Avengers goes A tier for me. I don't think it's as good as Infinity War, but it is still very good. And it was is very that just base Avengers. Yes, yeah, just base Avengers. Yep, that's a good movie. I'd say A as well. Yeah, it's I just think A. It's just not as good as Infinity War, so that's what keeps it out of Stan Lee. But it was like the culmination of so many years of work and the first of its kind. It was also just a really enjoyable movie. Yeah, really. Set the stage for the rest of Marvel. That was one of the first times I can recall people just talking about movies super frequently. Because so many people in the real world were talking about the Avengers. Everybody was talking about the Avengers. It was a new thing, right? Yeah. Similar to how they did with Iron Man 1, I'd say, except on a bigger level. Except, like Charlie yeah, said, this is the culmination of movies like Iron Man. It took it yeah, to exactly. Next yeah. And they give the ten years. Yeah, I think it's impressive sniper. what they were able to sniper. accomplish, especially when there was no template beforehand to, you know, judge it off right. or or base it off. They really had to lay the foundation themselves. Pretty impressive. Have you guys watched it recently? Yeah, uh, a couple of years ago. I haven't watched it in a long time. I should go back. Go I will back say, I will say, I did watch it fairly recently, and like within the last year and i would say that it is less good than i remember but i think that's more of a testament to like how good the how good the new ones are yeah Yeah, that that makes sense sense. that was a that was a good movie for this time yeah what's this next one i can't see the bottom one division oh i haven't actually watched that yet Uh, d tier for me i was gonna go d tier because it really fucking falters towards the end did you like the ending, Jackson? Like the last couple of episodes? Don't spoil it. Oh, are yeah, you gonna no. watch it? Uh, no, I fucking spoil it. I'll never watch it. Well, I, I don't know about chat then. If if you're kind of in that boat, I think it's pretty recent. It came out like this year, right? No, I think it was late last year, wasn't it? I can't remember. I watched it this yeah, year. Though. 
Mm. On the vision. And honestly, and... honestly, like super forgettable to me. I, I, it was I, this I, year. Oh, I'll I'll pull it out of D tier. The first three or four episodes I did like, and I liked the direction they were going. And then the last two episodes, they completely fucking jumped the shark, and I think they ruin it. I think they completely ruin everything they did. I I didn't I didn't I don't remember the ending to be honest. I don't remember much about it. Just that, like you said, the first like few episodes were pretty unique and well done, and interesting. But I just, yeah, no. I, I think most of it is forgettable. I'd be fine with D tier. I just don't think it's on the same level of, uh, like, yeah. Thor. That's fair. I don't think it'd be on the same level as those there either. I'm fine with putting it in C. Is it next one Loki? Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Have either of you guys seen this? I have not. This was so fucking boring. I watched the first really? two episodes. I couldn't finish it. It was so boring. It was so really? incredibly boring. Yeah, I couldn't finish it. That's why we well, didn't voice meter it. These are the characters that are going to be continuing on the mantle of Captain America, right? Yeah, it was just so boring. I, I couldn't stand it. Yikes. Well, that's not good. Where I don't know playing? if I'd give it an F, though. F's a little too harsh. It, it's worse than WandaVision, so I'll give it a D. Okay, that's it, fair. It was too boring to finish. I, I'm sure maybe towards the end they might have found their footing, but I wasn't ready to invest another fucking two and a half hours or whatever it would have taken to keep watching. It was so boring. Oh, it's a show, not a movie. Yeah, it's a yeah, show. Yeah, it's a show. Yeah, I was going to say, that would be a weird one to make a movie out of, since no Chris Evans. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, well there's going to be no Chris Evans anymore anyway. No, yeah, I no, know. This just... is setting this up for, like, who's taking over. Right. Just giving them their own standalone movie would have felt like a waste of money. Mm-hmm. Um, this one's Loki. I have not watched that either, but I really you, want you to. You should absolutely... This one fucking bang, I've Jackson. I've only heard good things. I have not watched it. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. All right, Loki's fucking great. I wouldn't give it Stan Lee, but I think Loki is super fun. And Owen Wilson is in it. Owen Wilson is so likable. Put it in Stan Lee. No, no, no. I can't, <laughs> I, I can't do that. You love Owen Wilson? I love I love Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson's amazing. Stan he's Lee. Like a, he's like a little puppy dog. I, I know. I Stan Lee would have loved Owen Wilson, too, I bet. I bet you he oh. did. I bet you part of Stanley lives on. I, I, you know what? I'm going to go the opposite uh, direction. I think Stanley prohibited Owen Wilson from being in any Marvel movies. <laughs> oh, and that's, no. that's why he, he was only able to be in a Marvel movie after he died. Yeah, Owen Wilson was actually supposed to be Iron Man, little known fact. Oh, yeah. could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> he wakes up in the cave in Iron Man 1. Wow. Wow. <laughs> It's it's so good. It's hard to talk about without spoiling anything, but it is a really interesting movie, oh, and it sets. That. What's the best part? No, I've yes. been looking for a new show to watch, and I forgot about Loki, so I should actually watch that. No, yeah, you're not allowed good. to watch Loki. You're going to be watching uh, Captain America and the Winter Soldier first. All right, here I'll dump it myself <laughs> if you want to spoil it. No, I'm not going to spoil it. A lot of people in chat probably haven't seen it either. Somebody said Owen Wilson as Thor would be a dream, but you know what actually would be amazing is Owen Wilson as the Hulk. Oh, Paul Dow Owen Wilson. Oh, fuck yeah! Him doing the line, I'm like, uh, that's my secret. I'm always angry. Oh, a counterpoint: Owen Wilson as Black Widow. <laughs> Pretty hot. <hard. laughs> the fur, his long golden locks. You see him from the back in the latex suit. You don't know it's him until he turns around in slow motion. Ooh, that would be fucking intense. Oh, that would be such a good movie. Yeah, that'd be hot. I can't so believe we don't direct Isn't Marvel. It? True. There's no Black Widow anymore, right? She's gone? Yeah, she's gone. No, how's that? Well, well, well. Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi, where do we want this one? Have you guys seen it? I haven't uh, seen yeah, it. I've heard great fresh, things. Fresh off the boat, that's going an A for me. That's what I like to hear. The martial arts was so fucking good, wasn't it? Uh-huh. The first half of the movie was just so good. It was so fucking good. Do you have Do you have any issues with the movie? Because I do. Yep. Let, let, let me just take the mic for a second. Um... <laughs> Why Why didn't they just let the martial arts go for the entire movie? That's right? what I fucking said. That is what I said. That was my biggest complaint. They set up the entire first half of the movie fucking perfectly. The martial arts was the the, silk, the focal point. It was so good. And they mixed yeah. in like the Ten Rings magic and stuff, which was still cool. But it was with like in conjunction with oh. martial arts. I love the, the main actor, Simu Liu. Um, he was the main actor or... One of the actors of one of my favorite shows on Netflix, uh, Kim's Convenience. It's like a goofy little show. Never and I don't know if it. you saw, he actually tweeted at Marvel saying, or Disney saying they should make this movie with him as the lead actor. And they did. 
that's yeah. actually fucking great. Yeah, I, he's a super cool guy. I saw him on Instagram. He made a post laughing at all of the YouTubers that said his movie was going to fucking flop and that he sucks. So yep. he, just, he made a caption that just screenshotted all those and said, lol, and people lost their <laughs> mind. That's amazing. I like yeah. him a lot. He's such a, I, I'm actually, such I'm, gonna, a cool I'm putting it back in A tier because of that. I really like yeah. that Instagram post. He's charismatic. For sure. Oh, yeah. And he was a stock photo model. So people keep finding those photos of him from way back when. The movie, I just, yeah, the first half of that movie, I think, is absolute golden Marvel Cinematic Universe shit. It's so good. I agree. I'm Black, excited to see it. Black Widow, I'm thinking F. I don't think it's James Corden level, but it's real stinky. I only heard bad things. Have you seen it, Jackson? Not seen it. It's very bad. Okay, it's fucking trash. The This one I feel confident saying a little bit more about. The main bad guy at the end, his superpower is smell. He's stinky. So, like, if you smell him, you're in trouble. And I think that is so incredibly goofy. I think it is so stupid. And since Black Widow as a character is already out of the MCU, uh, from, like, the previous movies, we already know that, it just seems like a worthless movie that came at the worst time. Huh. Wait, didn't... I remember being shocked after you saw the movie, you said it wasn't terrible. No, I never said it wasn't terrible. I mean, the, as a movie, it's not terrible. But for the Marvel movies, it's not good. It's gotcha. definitely I one see. of the weakest. I just was so shocked that you didn't. No, like the movie. It's a, as a movie. I mean, it works. Like it's it's a gotcha. fine movie. But we're looking at these movies in relation to the other Marvel movies. Yeah, no. So you <laughs> the, the two movies that you hate the most are just because the main antagonist vibrates too much or smells. <laughs> or smells. No, that's not why I hate Ant Man and the Wasp that much. It's just a really bad movie overall. Like it, it's not good. The action's bad when there is action. They don't even really use the growing and shrinking very much in the movie until the end. It's just a really uneventful movie that has a really unsatisfying conclusion where the villain and the heroes are on the same side the entire time. And so why are they why are they even at odds? They could just work together, which they eventually do to, at the end anyway. It's just a dumb movie. It's a really fucking dumb movie. It's the antagonist, it's the same character. guy from Stranger Things. In what, Ant-Man and the Wasp? No, no, no. So the antagonist in Black Widow. I, I think I remember saying that the Stranger Things cop is in it. Is, he, is it him? Is he the antagonist? No, no, no. no. He's, he's one of the, the helpers. He's a, he's a good guy. He's Captain Russia. He, he's a big Russia guy. Okay. Forgot what his name is. It's like the Red Star or something. Red Shining Galaxy Star Man. He's fine. David Arbor. I think he's, I think he's fine. Like, he doesn't really do anything. The only character that really does anything is... Scarlett Johansson and her friend, her sister. Other than that, no one really does much. Yep, fair. I'm fine with F. Yeah, I it, mean, I haven't seen it, so... It's bad. And so I'm with you. I agree. Compared to all the other ones, it's pretty bad. And then I haven't seen What If. I'm assuming none of you have either. When did that come out? Brand new. It's still ongoing, I think, isn't it? Oh, is that the animated one? Yeah. Gotcha. I'm just going to put it at... See, because we have no opinion on it, and there's n yeah. there's not like a tier for ones we haven't seen. Just throw it and see. Mm. Uh, is it still ongoing? Is it unfinished? Yeah, it, like it's it's only like three weeks in, I think. Oh, it's a full show. Yeah, it's a show. Can they stop that? Except for Loki. <laughs> the shows are good, man. Like, well, granted, <laughs> I I didn't like Winter <laughs> Soldier at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I liked WandaVision for the first four episodes. Like, I think I think Marvel shows have a very bright future. 